What's up everybody? Welcome back to Morbified Rides. I'm your host Morbid Mopars. You're watching the channel that sole purpose is to rescue, resurrect, and rehome as many vintage cars, motorcycles, and trucks as possible. This is the official adoption video for this 1966 Ford Fairlane. It is a 394 speed car, 4 9 inch rear. I've been told it's the original 392 barrel engine. This car does run and move and stop. Uh, pretty much every system on this car is going to need a little bit of attention. Uh, suspension is going to need some work. Electrical system is going to need some work. And the brake system is going to need pretty much completely overhauled with maybe the exception of the front drums. Uh, rear drums are shot. Um, the car has pretty much all the normal rust you would expect. It's got some there. You can't see it, but there's a little bit in the rockers underneath the trim. There's some here. This quarter is the worst spot on the whole car. The trunk extension is pretty much non-existent and been deleted by rust. Um, yeah, so there's all that. Let's get some patina shots on the hood. Look at that patina. Isn't it pretty? Some people hate this stuff. I like it. I think it tells the story of the car. So I'm going to show it. Let's get in the car and take a look. Here's your speedometer, your shifter. Car currently has bucket seats. It is an original bench seat, 394 speed car. I have a blue bench seat for the car, but it needs reupholstered like real bad. There's your back seat, your rear deck. Um, Speedo says 22,187. I'm pretty sure that's 122,187. Let's keep going. Go in the trunk. There's some mud right there, but this quarter needs a lot of work anyway. If you're planning on replacing it, a lot of people would just uh, rat rot it. Here's the trunk. Look at that. Look at all the layers of paint. I think that's cool as shit. This quarter panel has a little bit of rust. It's not near as bad as the other side. It looks like it got whacked. Somebody started to do the metal repair for that quarter. Um, I think a good body man with some shrinking hammers and dollies and some heat could probably get that pretty close and uh, skim it and block it. It's going to take some hours though to do. Uh, there's a crease in the quarter panel right here. Um, I do have a dash pad that has no cracks in it that goes with the car. And let's get some more shots down here. There are There's a hole you can see underneath the rocker and there's another one. Once again, if somebody wanted a rat rod, this car would be perfect. If somebody wants a full restoration piece that's mint, this might not be the car for you. But I really think this could be a fun car for somebody. So I'm going to show you guys the trunk. There's all the parts that come with it. Lots of headlight buckets. There's another dash cluster. One shock for the front. Four barrel intake manifold. There are the seat belts. There's the DP74 uh, oxide primer somebody put on this car. There's some more crap up there. And I don't remember if I've already showed you under the hood or not. Let's uh, go look at that. There's your 390. The carburetor is shot. One of the emulsion tubes is split. I attempted to solder it and tap it back down into the carburetor. I don't think I was successful. It seems like it's extremely lean and it's running kind of rough. The dwell and the timing and the points are all set perfect. So I know it's not that. And it has new points, condenser, cap rotor plug wires. So let's start it up for you guys. Starts and revs great. You try to hold RPM, it gets rough. I think it's because of the uneven fuel mixture in the carburetor. Also, the radiator leaks, and we're running a boat gas tank. The boat gas tank is not included with the sale of the car, but it can be used up to the point of the car being loaded in whatever way the car is going to be hauled after the sale. Um, 